Assalamualaikum, Dr. Nujam. Today we are here at the Fire Community Health Center. Tell us a little more about yourself and your role here. Yes, well, I'm, as you said, Dr. Norjihan Abdul I am a board certified pediatrician. Around like 2018, 2019, we decided to open up the Clara Community Health Center. It was definitely a collaborative effort. Many people wanted to see a free clinic on the east side of Oklahoma City. And so we were able to come together, create a board, and open the clinic, alhamdulillah. And um, we actually opened it during COVID. <laughs> so it came with several challenges, but alhamdulillah, we are still here. I actually remember actually designing uh, on, the, on the piece of paper here, how much space we need. And alhamdulillah, so when the masjid was built, the space was here. Clinic could not start early because at the same time we were starting Shifa Clinic. So later on, we added this. Alhamdulillah, it's been almost three years have passed for this clinic. As a doctor, I'm in primary care. And in primary care, we take care of, uh, you know, all kinds of patients. Yeah, take care of uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, gout, joint diseases, osteoarthritis. And so that takes care of majority of the patient at the, at the lower level before we refer them to specialists. It is our goal to offer pretty much anything that people need, so well checkups, um, sick visits, and then if people need additional testing or services, then we can order like basic labs, but if they need like x-rays or CT scans or MRIs, then we actually partner with the organization called the Health Alliance for the Uninsured, and we're able to get those things, breast um, mammograms and colonoscopies as well. So that definitely makes me feel very proud because we're able to help someone who has no insurance go from just a well check to making sure they're getting their preventative care every year, which is so important um, to make sure they stay healthy. I was on the board whenever we started three years ago uh, during COVID. And for me, it was something that I felt was very important um, in that difficult time. I used to work in the hospital at Baptist, and so I was actually testing um, those COVID samples. And we had a lot of um, those sort of illnesses in the community. And, you know, we had to shut down the masks. So it was just a difficult time altogether. And so when the idea of a free health clinic came up, I had to jump on it you know, because it's something that's dear to me, uh, especially. And so, in that time, I also decided to pursue a career in nursing. So this gives me direct patient contact and just firsthand experience with patients. I think one challenge that I often see is sometimes we just want to pray everything away. And I think that we also need to tie our camels as well. <laughs> and that includes going and seeing, um, you know, getting your health checks and things like that. And and to not just think, well, if I drink this tea, it's gonna make everything go away. And yes, we know that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the cure for most things, but he also gave us the intellect and education to understand the human body and to be able to assist people in those manners. So I always say, you know, allow those who have taken the time to get that further education to assist you, you know, and not just take it upon yourself um, to try to figure out some things. So sometimes we're often delayed in our care and I've seen it actually really impact the Muslim community. I'm glad that we're here today doing this video um, because we need to get the word out so that we can get more patients in. I think being fairly new, a lot of people don't know that we're here in this location. And I think it's a great location because the need is definitely there. But advertising and promotion for our clinic, I think is a huge challenge that we have now that hopefully with this, we could overcome.